stop sign, y'all. It's yield. I haven't heard anything on the radio, but according to the sign right here, left lane closed a mile ahead, so we'll see. Looks like everybody's trying to figure it out. Right here, the, this Oakley truck. I'm trying to hold people back, so I just wasn't sure. Like I said, y'all, it's not a lot of room up front. Back to the channel, y'all. Down here in Spartanburg, South Carolina. About to pick up a load of frozen bakery goods. We're going to take it back to Rock Hill, South Carolina, which is about 75, 80 miles north. My appointment was for 4 o'clock, but uh, I was stuck in traffic, y'all. Right now it's probably about 4.30, 4.35, somewhere around there. But uh, it should be good. Matter of fact, I was gonna pull up next to the fence over there, but I'm just gonna go ahead and set up on one of these doors and see what happens. I'm gonna set up on door 32 and see what happens. Maybe he'll tell me to move. Maybe he'll say, hey, back up on door 32. If that's the case, I'm already on door 32. Should be good right there. two times I came here, they told me to go on door 31, so we'll see. Let's go get checked in, y'all.
so that I could just leave it on 32. So I'm just going to go ahead and pull these pins and uh, slide my tandems. And I do have to pull forward just a little. I don't think I'm going to have enough room to open up my doors right here. So I'm going to just pull forward a couple feet once I slide my tandems. Trailer set on minus 10 right now. It's reading six degrees. So we dropped about 73 degrees in about two hours. Uh, about 70 degrees outside right now. So it's not too bad. I believe when I first cut it on when I was leaving the yard, it was reading 79 degrees or something like that. too bad on a 70 degree day. I got some work to do so I started uploading this video before I left home I actually had my daughter upload the video so now I got to get in my YouTube studio create a title for this video and also I got to add a thumbnail for this video and a couple other little things I got to do before I upload it so I'll catch up with y'all in a bit turn this radio down all right y'all so we are loaded so I'm gonna get up out of here. Good, bro. Yeah, I see. All right, bro. Appreciate it, man. to the tail y'all that thing's so loaded my load bars couldn't even fit up there but it shouldn't be too heavy the only time you have bakery goods that's real heavy is uh, when you're dealing with like frozen dough you know the stuff that's not baked yet but uh for the most part um this stuff is pretty light you know bread and muffins or I don't even know what's in the back of my trailer. I just know it's um, bakery goods. But it shouldn't be too heavy, like I said. Now that should be... I think right there should be about pinhole number five. Let's lock it in. Go 
check it out. Let's check it out. Pinhole number five, baby. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five. Number six. I'm off by one. I'll take it. I'm off by one. We're good. Let's roll out of here. Grab my paperwork. And get rolling. It's crazy because six was going to be my initial guess, and for some reason I just said five. All right, so let me go get my paperwork. What else I need? Still working on my two, by the way. bro appreciate it now all right y'all let's hit the 85 and get rolling so this load's coming off tomorrow morning at four o'clock in the morning so the plan is to go back home go park my truck and I'm gonna uh, roll out around two o'clock in the morning it's only a 15 minute ride from where I parked my truck, uh, maybe 20 minutes. So that's the plan, y'all. But I do have to stop and get some fuel. Uh, I'm probably gonna stop at exit 80. I'm gonna go clean my glass, by the way. Um, I was gonna do some recording on my way down, but my glass was too dirty and the glare from the sun was just making it real obvious. So, put my glass cleaner. Go clean that glass, man. What else I need back here? glass is dirty because I need to change my wiper blades. But this should be a lot better. Look at that clean kitty cat, y'all. Yeah, we don't roll around with a bunch of oil on my motor, man. My motor stay clean. I do have one slight leak, but I know exactly where it's coming from. Um, that plate that holds the power stand flowing, I gotta remove that plate. There's a little gasket back there I gotta replace. Um, not from the plate, but um, right by the peanut cover. Not the actual peanut cover, but there is a little gasket I gotta get to once I replace it, and uh, we should be all free. It's not leaking, but it's just sweating right now. All right, so it's not the greatest, but um, I don't like these towels by the way got these from AutoZone the other day I like the other ones um, these right here these are much better I don't like these uh, these tend to leave streaks if it was the other one there would be no streaks I just banged my knee man that didn't feel good but uh, let's get up out of here man let's quit playing around with this glass uh, what do I gotta do Drive. Let's go. Cut 
some lights on. Um, like I said, y'all, I gotta stop and get me some fuel. I am low on fuel. My reefer is sitting between uh, half and a quarter right now. And I'm on a quarter tank on my tractor. So I'm gonna put some fuel in my truck and my trailer. I'm not gonna top it up because it is cheaper right now in North Carolina, but I'm probably gonna put in about 250 or so. We'll see. 250 will bring me back to half and I'll bring my reefer back to half, so. Let's roll, y'all. Oh, by the way, before I get up out of here, let me set up this camera, and I'm going to set it up with this new mount that I got from, uh, what's that company right here? Ulanzi. They sent me this mount right here. And the reason why I'm going to use this one as opposed to the one I've been using, this one can only fit right here. It can't fit in this space right here. Once I start to create the suction, it spreads, and it's hitting against right here, so it doesn't create a suction. So with this one, I'm gonna be able to put this right here just like this. That ain't going nowhere, y'all. And uh, let's hook it up right now. So this is my first time using it. What am I doing wrong? Oh, actually this goes like this, duh. Come on, Mark. Goes like this. Alright, that goes like that. This goes on the top. Just like this. Now I can play around with this, you know, whatever direction I want to put it. So let's see, where's my camera? Uh, where is the front camera? So these cameras, they're all labeled. The one on top of my head, obviously that's a POV. This is a front camera. They both have the same cage, so it's hard to distinguish which is which, but I dropped this one right here. It's got a little chip right here, so that's how I'm able to distinguish the two. So this is the front cam. So what I gotta do is, I gotta remove this mount from this one. By the way, this is a great mount. No knock on newer. You know, I absolutely love this thing. You know, I could put this outside my truck and I could go down the road going 70 miles an hour if I want to. The only problem is, like I said, it's just too big. You know, the base is six inches wide. This one is only four inches, so that's the difference. The only difference. And this is my first time using this one right here, so we gonna test it out. Now, right away, I could tell this is a little too high. Yeah, actually, it might be fine, but the camera is probably going to be sitting too high. So, we'll see. Let me flip this around. Like this. Uh, it's got a label on it. Um, this is the back. The front has the DJI logo. So, that's how you know. That's how you can tell the front versus the back. So let's see how we go. My POV camera just died, so I just swapped out a battery, and these batteries are also dead, so we gotta charge them. But here it is, y'all. This is my setup, and we should be good to go. Uh -huh, we could do it like this. Should be good. Y'all see that, right? I accidentally just hit this right here so now it's recording on slow-mo and that's exactly what I did two videos ago and I lost a good chunk of my recording that day so that's all it takes you know I accidentally hit something on the side swipe over slow-mo time-lapse video photo but uh, this camera is awesome man this is the DJI action 4 in case somebody's wondering and we are ready to roll it's rolling Let's go, y'all. Now I just gotta hook up my monitor. So I'm gonna monitor this camera right here. POV, connect, join. And now I 
can see. What you guys can see. So this camera is probably a little too high. Just like that. Let's roll. So I learned my lesson, y'all. I'm not going to make a right turn getting out of here. I'm actually going to turn left. It's going to be a lot easier to get back on the interstate. That turn down there is just way too difficult. It's um, almost on a 45 degree angle, kind of 70 degree, somewhere around there, which is not ideal for making a right turn. swing pretty wide making this turn uh, when I came by earlier but uh, I'm turning left now so I should be good go ahead bro you're gonna be in my way hopefully nobody else shows up to the party about it but he's smart This is the 85 business room, which takes me right back to the 85. So I just dropped the video. Today's Monday, but I'm looking forward to my Wednesday upload, man. Looking forward. Haven't touched it yet. Haven't done any editing, but I know what I recorded. So I'm looking forward, y'all. Stay tuned. So basically, the next video that you see after 
the video titled will the rates get better so the video after that video is my wednesday upload it's a banger i know it is We gotta speak it into existence. That video is gonna hit a million views at some point. Not sure when, but it's gonna hit a million views. I think I'm gonna hop off at our uh, exit 80. Get me some fuel. I think that was the cheapest fuel I saw coming down. QT was 319, I believe. Um, that shell at our uh, exit 80 is 312, so six cents makes a difference. Not a big difference, but it makes a difference. Six cents is six cents. sleeping or trying to fall asleep who knows
y'all. Let's go get some fuel. Stop this camera. Battery is actually low on that camera right there. I've been spoiling y'all, man. Listen, I'm not gonna be out here recording with two cameras all day now. It takes a long time to edit those videos when I'm recording with two cameras, and that's the reason why lately I've been laying low on the double cameras at the same time, or sometimes even triple. Uh, what else do I need? Got my wallet, my cell phone, no. Uh, keys, there we go. And I do have two keys on my truck at all times. I actually have three. One is hidden outside, it's not in the truck. But um, even if Jesus Christ himself returned tomorrow and tried to find that key outside, good luck. Good luck. It's hidden, y'all. When I say hidden, it's hidden. That key is so hidden, my mechanic worked on my truck and he removed a part that the key is attached to. I had to go in his junk pile to find that key attached to that part. I ain't gonna tell y'all what part now, but it's attached to a part. And it's not a part that you're gonna be thinking of over the top of your head either. Like I said, y'all, it's hidden. Let me cut this camera off, man. They playing music in here. YouTube trip. So I got me a bottle of water. Two granolas. And some potato wedges to munch on. I'm hungry, y'all. I ain't got no food in my truck. I ain't got nothing to drink in my truck. So I'm just gonna take these out and just dump this in the trash because I don't need that in my truck. This is one of those fuel stops where you can't pull forward once you're done. Because if you do, you'll be blocking the driveway. Or you'll be blocking the exit way for somebody. a tank in my tractor and uh, my reefer is a little above half so more than enough fuel to finish this load until I get to my next load which will be picking up on Wednesday today is Monday and I'm probably just gonna take tomorrow off It's fun getting out of here. I just replaced the battery in this camera. Let me pop it back up there. Come on, come on, come on. Gap right here. Uh, probably could have, but uh, uh, he's stopping anyways.
power, y'all. You know, I don't like to pressure my truck, but uh, we've got plenty of power. There's no lacking over here. Light is out on my boost gauge. Um, I got to replace the light in there, the little bulb. But uh, that boost gauge will go over 40. and go traffic for the last, I don't know, maybe two, three miles. Um, haven't heard anything on the radio, but according to the sun right here, left lane closed a mile ahead, so we'll see. Apparently I'm in the right lane, the right lane. So are we actually losing the left lane or is that false advertisement? Like everybody's trying to figure it out. Plane, you know, right here, the, this Oakley truck, I'm trying to hold people back, so I just wasn't sure. I'm pretty sure it's just some construction up ahead. Well, this place has been under construction for God knows how long. The past seven, eight years? I don't know. What y'all think? 85 rolling through Spartanburg, Greenville, Blacksburg. What y'all think? How long this place been under construction? To all my north and south carolina folks in the chat maybe you live in florida you live in georgia you pass through on a weekly basis but well, it seems like it's been about at least six seven years since this place been under construction it seems like they're wrapping up though i must say um it's looking good coming through spartanburg you know, it's when you get out of Spartanburg, then you still have uh, construction going on on the shoulders, and I guess they're trying to uh, ten, four, yeah. make this wider. I'm surprised. It's not false advertising. What's up, bro?
Everybody's gonna wait until the last minute to get over. She buy that squeeze in. Go ahead, man. truck back there we should be good looks like he's gonna hold it down or maybe he's gonna act like a forwarder let's see he's bob teller that's probably one of those amazon guys right there so of course he's gonna act like a four-wheeler. Amazon is the new Swift, y'all. Just get in the truck and hook up to an Amazon trailer and hit the road. This laying down, so you ain't about to pass me right here. You're gonna get in line like everybody else. Don't you think about it. Get in line like a normal civilized human being. We're all trying to get through. y'all back at the truck it's a little after three o'clock in the morning right now i've got a 20 minute ride down to rock hill south carolina so let's go deliver some freight y'all so i made it to the receiver but it's definitely feeling a little chilly right now and i gotta turn my coolant lines back on i keep them off in the summertime so my AC could blow cooler air. Uh, right now it is 46 degrees. So I definitely had to throw on a sweater, you know, cause I felt a little chilly. I'm about to cut my bunk heater on back there right now. How you doing? There you go. No problem. So yeah, let's cut that bunk heater on, man. Uh, my bunk heater is right there, by the way. I got it under my bed, facing out. If you ain't got a bunk heater in your truck, man, get you one. I paid about 200 bucks on Amazon, and this will be my third season using it, so money well spent. I don't have an APU on my truck, so with the bunk heater, I don't have to idle my truck at night. So not only am I saving a couple gallons of fuel, but I'm also protecting my engine in the process. Thank you, man. What door is it, what door is it? All right.
So I'm gonna go ahead and set it to about 82 degrees. I'm gonna be in and out the truck, so. Uh, once it starts to get too hot, then I'll just turn it back down to about 75, somewhere around there. But yeah, that's a pretty good bunk heater, man. This is my third season using it, so. Can't complain for 200 bucks, money well spent. Fifty nine. Ten four. And I'm pretty sure I got my money's worth within the first two months of not idling my truck. I'm not sure how much fuel I burn from idling my truck all night. But that bunk heater, it only uses about a gallon of fuel every eight hours or so so money well spent now let's go ahead and uh open up these doors and now we're going back up on door 59 y'all Definitely a little chilly out here, that's for sure. difference right now with the bunk heater back there. Now this place is a little tricky. Uh, you don't have a lot of room up front, you know, so you really got to set up right. And I'm trying to watch my tail swing back there with that truck sticking out. Do it. Put my four ways on, cut my headlights off. Let's go. So y'all, yeah, it's not a lot of room up front. I do want to get a little closer to this truck on my left. Just like that. Because if I don't get closer to that truck, I don't have a lot of room up front to straighten up if I back up on that door too crooked, so. It's a little better right there. Just pull forward to get rid of that bend. This is why I wanted to get closer to that truck on my left because, uh, like I said, it's not a lot of room up front right in this place right here. You know, 
even though the door to my right is wide open, you know, if I put it too far to the right, it's just as difficult trying to bring it back to the left because you don't have a lot of room up front. Should do it right there. All right, so let's go get checked in. I do have to fill out this paperwork right here. Or not. Where is it? Normally they give you a piece of paper to fill out, but I don't see it, so let's go get checked in. Put my window up so I can keep that heat in the truck. Alright. Guess we could turn these lights off. Huh. I'll leave my marker lights on just in case somebody is backing up next to me over here. Alright, so I need a pen just in case they tell me to fill out some paperwork inside. I'm about to cut the camera off because this facility has a sign posted out on the window here. No cameras inside the building, so I'm gonna cut the camera off, y'all. Yeah. So today wasn't quite as speedy as it normally is, but I'll take it. I'm just getting out of here at seven o'clock. Not too bad, but um, not as speedy as it normally is, that's for sure. But I'ma just go check the back of my trailer, make sure all my load bars are in the back of my trailer before we get out of here. My load bars are good. Back of the trailer looks good. Back of the trailer is freezing, by the way. That was a minus 10 load. So listen y'all, this video feels like it's gonna be well over an hour. So I'm about to shut it down right here. I got some editing to do. I gotta go home, get busy. Um, like I said y'all, trying to drop four videos this week. Um, today is Tuesday, so I'm gonna drop a video tomorrow on Wednesday. And then I want to drop another video on Friday or Saturday, or Friday and Saturday. Or I might do Thursday, who knows. Um, I'm going to go check in with my analytics and see what my YouTube studio is saying, which is a better day between Friday and Thursday. But Saturday has been a good day for me so far. So I'm going to stick with the Saturdays moving forward. I'm going to try to drop a video on Saturday. So to everybody stuck around to the end and uh, watch all the way to the end. Everybody who shared this video, like this video, gave this video a thumbs up. Um, drop me a comment. Appreciate y'all. So until the next one, I'm out of here, y'all. Peace out.
On the flip side, I did get me a nice little three hour nap with the bunk warmer going. So, your boy was knocked out. So, catch y'all on the next one. Peace out, guys.